Fourteen dog adventures, run, boy, run. Everything you need is here under the sun. Everything you need is here under the sun. Next training tip. This week, we're going to show you a drill called wagon wheel lining. This is a drill that I use for young dogs to teach them and help them with their marking, but it's also a precursor that you do with dogs when you're going to teach them blind retrieves. Now, this is also something that I do with my older dogs, like Mr. Pickett here. Dogs are never too old to do drills and to get prepared for the upcoming season. We're going to throw out our bumpers in four different directions. So basically, it's like we're the hub and a wheel. Then we're going to take Pickett and we're going to heel him. Heel. Sit. This is showing him what direction I want him to go in. Now again, we want his spine in line and pointed in the same direction as my lead foot. Back. We give him a back command, we send him to the pile. Here, good boy. Heel. Again, we can set him up for our next retreat by having our foot point in that direction. Back. Here. You can start him in a direction, point in one direction, and then use it as an obedience healing drill like we are here. Pick it, heel. Heel, sit, good, back. And again, he sees the white bumpers, so it identifies it. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna transition to where we use orange bumpers, which he can't see. So he's gonna have to go on his line that I'm sending him on. Same drill, we're gonna throw it out in four different places. We're going to heel him, heel, back. He took his line, he brought it back, and we're gonna continue this drill doing it the same as we did last time, sit. Back. And again, he's going out, he's finding it by taking his line that I'm giving him. Heel. This is where your healing is very, very important. As your dog advances in this drill, we can make it more difficult. We can put out eight bumpers, we can put out 16 bumpers, we can put out all orange, all white, or a combination of the two. Ultimately, this is teaching your dog to trust the line that you're giving him and will make him more successful in the field. That's this week's training tip. Now back to the hunt. If you're looking for a puppy, training, or want to use one of our stud dogs, contact us at SoggyAcres.com.